Excellent! What's up, everybody? Big Swede here once again. Thanks for joining me here in the brand new Swede Studios. That's right, we're over here at the brand new house. Uh, I've been slowly trying to get everything up and running, at least on a basic level, so I can start doing some more videos. Um, you know, it's been a long, crazy summer for us uh, with this whole home buying process. Um, man, if I never have to buy a house again for the rest of my life, it will be too soon. Uh, the process itself sucked, but man, I'm excited about this house. Um, I'm excited about a lot of the things we're going to do with the house. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of what I wanted to start doing with these videos. You know, this channel has always been kind of like the mixed bag of, you know, different things that I'm into. You know, I got the snowboarding stuff. I got the, the Star Wars stuff, uh, you know, my nerd stuff. Um, so I figured why not do some, you know, videos on home improvement projects while I'm doing them. You know, if people are interested in that, you know, follow along. If not, you know, and, you know, a month from now I'll probably be doing a video about something different. So, you know, stay tuned. You never know what's going to come up. Uh, but, you know, one of those projects that I'm doing with this house is setting up a brand new custom home network in this house. Um, you know, the house we're coming from was a much smaller house. Uh, it was a two stories, no basement, um, and we were running just a standard, you know, wireless router that you get from your ISP. And you know, I've never been a big fan of those, just because the Wi-Fi on them is not that great. You know, the further away you get from it, the worse your Wi-Fi signal gets. And uh, the problem we'd always run into, we had it down in the living room on the first floor, kind of centralized. Uh, fine downstairs, but when you go upstairs and you go to the kind of outer edges of the house, your Wi-Fi signal started to drop off, you know, and the kids were in those end bedrooms and, you know, they were always complaining them, you know, the Fortnite, they're, they're lagging and whatnot, you know, that video game stuff. I'm not really a gamer, so not a big deal to me, but, you know, if I'm doing some upstairs and, you know, the wi fis crapping out, stuff's buffering, it's annoying. So one of the things I decided with this house, which is a much bigger house, you know, we have a, you know, fully finished basement down here uh, and then two floors. So you get basically three stories here. And I wanted to make sure that no matter where we're at in the house, we were going to get good internet, good signal, good Wi-Fi. Um, I'm going to be running a lot of cat cable through this house. You know, it's an, a little bit of an older house built before, you know, running network cable was a thing. So I'm going to have to run all this stuff myself. Um, what I would like to do is I'd like to hardwire anything that I possibly can because you're, you're going to get faster speeds through a, a network cable than you will through Wi-Fi, even though we're going to get some, some pretty good Wi-Fi. Um, but all the computers, Xboxes, uh, smart TVs, stuff like that, I want to hardwire as much of that as possible. But I still want to have good Wi-Fi coverage throughout the whole house for the, you know, the, the smartphones, tablets, anything like that. Uh, so I got a lot of gear. Um, a lot of network cable we're going to run, like I said. Um, I'm going to run multiple access points throughout the house to make sure that no matter where you go in this house, you're going to have good Wi-Fi coverage. So, you know, I'm going to kind of walk you through the gear that we're going to use for this and then kind of start working our way on how we're going to go about running all this cable throughout the house. Uh, some of it's going to be a little bit more easy. Some of it's going to be a little bit more pain in the ass. Uh, so it'll be fun. Either way, I'm going to have to get up in the attic and it's hot as hell up there. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an adventure and, uh, you know, let's get into it. All right. So here is the gear that I'm going to be using to run my new home network in the new place. Uh, starting off here, we have the Ubiquiti Edge Router X. That's going to be the router that I'm running everything through. Uh, next to that, we have the Ubiquity Unify Switch 8. Uh, this has four uh, PoE out ports. Uh, the PoE ports are going to be running my wireless access points as well as the Ubiquity uh, cloud key there, which is going to run the Unify controller software. Uh, all that's going to be sitting on just a 1U rack there. Uh, everything else is going to be running through just a, a basic TP-Link 24-port unmanaged switch. Uh, we have our patch panel there we're going to run everything into. Uh, in the back there we have a trip light, um, just a surge protector. Down here we have our access points. Uh, I'm going to be running three uh, Unify AC lights, one on each floor. Uh, 
Uh, and then we have one Unify AC Pro, which is going to go on the back patio to kind of service the backyard. Uh, if we got, you know, friends over and whatnot, everybody will have good Wi-Fi out in the backyard. And then all of that is going to be sitting inside of, you know, a nice case here. We're going to mount that on the wall over here. Uh, we've got all our, you know, Verizon gear up there coming into the house, uh, running the uh, Fios gigabit internet. So, yeah, let's get rolling on this thing and get everything set up. All right, so I got the, the rack mounted to the wall. If you're wondering why I mounted it low, it's just because I was originally going to put it up up higher, but I didn't want to block access to the circuit breaker panel in case we need to get in there. So dropped it down a little bit lower. Uh, still got good access to the circuit breaker panel and uh, you know it'll still work for what I need to do. All right, fast forward a little bit here. We've got pretty much the entire Wi-Fi network is set up now, as well as uh, two hard lines that are going to the basement uh, computer and the basement Xbox. Uh, I haven't run any other hard lines through the house yet other than uh, what's going out to the wireless access points. So the basic setup of the rack here, um, we have our, starting with our router in the middle, uh, the internet from you know, from Verizon comes in there, uh, and then that goes out to this ubiquity switch, which is essentially controlling all of the Wi-Fi. Um, and then we also go down to the unmanaged switch, which is where all of my hard lines are going to come off of. So this switch up here is basically controlling Wi-Fi. This switch down here is going to be controlling all my hard lines. So uh, as I said earlier, this ubiquity switch here has four PoE or power over e Ethernet uh, ports coming off of it. As it turned out, I have five devices that needed PoE, uh, the four access points, as well as the Ubiquity cloud key right there. Um, so the four ports that are powered off of the switch are going out to the wireless access points. And then for the cloud key there, I just came off of one of the unpowered ports down to this uh, PoE injector brick uh, and then back up to the cloud key to power that. Uh, so that's basically the setup of the rack. Um, as, as I start wiring more stuff uh, for hard lines, uh, you'll see this patch panel here fill up uh, as, we, as we start um, feeding more stuff around the house. Now, from the rack, you can watch the bundle go up. Uh, goes up towards the ceiling here and then you can see it goes into that PVC conduit there. Um, as this, as the, the cables went from the basement all the way up to the attic to then disperse around the house, uh, that main bundle, the main trunk going up, I didn't want to just have a bunch of wires dangling in a closet or whatever. Uh, so I decided to get a piece of two inch PVC or uh, a couple pieces of two inch PVC and run uh, a conduit up from the basement all the way up into the attic and I'll kind of run through the house now and show you exactly where that goes. All right, so coming up out of the rack, we have our conduit here, which runs along uh, behind uh, the utility stuff, the water heater, boiler, and all that stuff. We come out on this side up here and that's where it goes up into the first floor. Um, I also have this line coming out of here, which is coming over to feed the, the basement hard lines. And that feeds through the wall here, coming out the outlet right there. All right, so here on the first floor, um, I kind of lucked out with the way the house is set up that everything on this side of the house where I wanted to run this main trunk uh, happens to come through a closet. So none of this stuff is out in open view when you're in whatever room. Uh, so there it's coming up from the basement through the floor and we go up into the ceiling right there. Now, um, I can paint this whatever, but as I said, again, it's in a closet, so it's out of, out of sight for most people. 
All right, up here on the second floor, again, same thing. We're in a closet. Uh, don't mind the carpet there. We're replacing these carpets anyway, so I just cut it up to have easier access. Uh, but we're coming up from the first floor uh, bedroom closet downstairs into the second floor uh, bedroom closet. And again, we have our conduit going up and this time into the attic. I'm not going to go up into the attic because it's hot up there and... It, I really don't feel like crawling through the attic with this camera, but uh, it, it feeds up into the into the attic, and then from there, uh, I just run the wires to whatever point in the house that I want to drop down into the walls, and that's how we're gonna do that. All right, for our wireless access points here, uh, as I said, I put one on each floor. This here is the second floor one, and I basically situated it right in the middle of the hallway between all the bedrooms, so everybody's getting good coverage up here. Now, the one thing I really like about these Ubiquiti wireless access points is they look pretty much like a smoke detector or anything else, uh, so, you know, they're not obtrusive. Uh, most people aren't even going to notice that they're there. So. All right, moving down to the first floor, we have our access point here in the corner of the, the living room here, uh, which is also next to the kitchen. Um, I put it on this side because this is where most people are going to be using Wi-Fi on, on this floor of the house. Uh, there is an office on the other side, but it is at the bottom of the stairs, which gets good coverage from the second floor antenna. All right, in the basement here, hanging out with all my Star Wars toys, is the basement access point here. Uh, this just happened to be the easiest place for me to get to. Uh, I didn't have to fish through the ceiling or anything because on the opposite side of this is, is just a wall here in the workshop. So it was easy to, to mount that right there and not have to worry about fishing cable through the ceiling. So there's the basement one. And as I said, I do have an outside one for the patio and the backyard as well. And that is hanging out right here on the eve. This is a uh, Ubiquiti AC Pro, which is uh, an outdoor antenna, uh, provided that it's not in direct uh, weather. So hanging out here on the eve is just perfect for that. And man, there's a big ass spider right there. I don't know if you catch that. Woo wee! He's hanging out in the light, hoping to get some bugs. <laughs> but yeah, so there's the uh, the patio and backyard uh, wireless access point. All right, guys, so that's all I'm going to cover today. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you kind of a rundown of what I'm doing, what the plan was, uh, how I'm going about doing it. I did skip a lot of stuff. Uh, trust me, <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see me crawling through the attic, uh, pulling cables around the house. Um, but, you know, if that's something you're interested in and you want to see how I'm actually running these things down into the walls when I start hardwiring more stuff, uh, you know, maybe I'll bring the camera up in there, uh, try, and, try and work some kind of setup to where you can actually see what I'm doing and how I'm, you know, fishing things through the walls and everything. So if it's something you're interested in, hit me in the comments and, and maybe we'll do like a part two as we add more uh, Cat6 cable throughout the house. Uh, but that's it guys that is the home network in a nutshell um i'm getting great great wi-fi coverage throughout the house uh even the worst spots in the house are way better than what even the best spot in the house was at the old house uh so this uh verizon fios uh, gigabit internet is uh really smoking fast uh this ubiquity unify setup that i have with the wireless access points and everything really really good system you know it, it seamlessly switches you from one antenna to another as you're walking through the house um, so you never get dropouts great signal all around that's all we got today guys as always if you like what i'm doing give me that thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button stay up to date with any new videos we will catch you next time till then live life and have fun out there excellent <laughs>